Main chick versus side bitch. Chapter six, Aryan. My car not starting with some divine intervention shit. That and the fact that I was out of gas, and I already knew that. But D had no idea, and that was the way I wanted to keep it. Now I needed to figure out a way to get him into my house. We drove along, not saying much as I thought about what I could do. Originally, I was going to wait, take time seducing him. But my pussy was talking to me, telling me too much time had passed and I needed something long and strong and a vibrator wasn't going to cut it tonight. I wasn't sure if it was too soon, but only time would tell. If I couldn't get him in my house, then maybe it wasn't meant to be. But in the past, whatever I wanted, I got. It's that house right there on the left. Cool. He threw the car in part. You mind if I come in and use your bathroom? I need to wash some of this oil off my hands. Bingo. I felt like I had won the lottery. Sure, that's the least I could do to show my appreciation. I touched his arm, but he shook it off as he got out the car. This was perfect. And walking up to the house, I felt like this was a better way to make things happen than what I was thinking. Letting him in, I pointed down the hall. It's down there, uh, first door on your left. Thankfully, I wasn't no dirty bitch, and my house was clean, so there was nothing for me to be embarrassed about. When I heard the door close on the bathroom, I knew I only had a few minutes. Taking my clothes off and putting on some music from my phone, I felt like it took hours for me to get undressed, but I sat on the couch, naked and ready for whatever was about to happen. Hearing the water cut off, I took a deep breath, waiting for him to come. All right, I'm about to, uh... He came back in the living room with the loss for words, his mouth hanging open, and that's when I knew I had him. What's going on, shorty? Like, uh, like, what you mean? You ain't never seen no pussy before? That shut him up. He just stared at me, looking from me to the door, so I made it easy, standing up and going to him when his damn phone started ringing. I knew before he looked at it that it was that bitch. Fuck. Fuck her. I bet she can't suck your dick like I can. I pushed him up against the wall, kissing on his neck as he answered the phone. Uh, hello? Hello? He didn't push me away, so I kept going, lowering down to my knees, unbuckling his belt, and letting his jeans fall down to his feet. I heard a woman's voice, but that only excited me more. His dick flopped out as boxers, and that was like a runner hearing a gun at the start of a race. It had been forever since I was eye level to a dick, and his was plump, long, and already hard. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, I'm just about to leave the shot right now. I slid him in my mouth, tasting every part of him, thinking about every dollar that I needed for my daughter. Yeah, I'm turned on by Dwayne, but money makes me calm. But he didn't turn me away. I knew I still had what it took to get a man. Sobbing on his dick, letting the head hit the back of my throat, I thought about all the things that were about to change now that I would be Dwayne's side chick. I had been here before. Shit, my baby daddy was married when I was with him, so I knew the game. But taking Dwayne's dick in my mouth and sucking his balls and twisting his dick in my hands was when I heard his voice crack. He grabbed a fistful of my hair. I swear I could hear moans coming from his mouth. I was going to have more money than I knew what to do with it, and in no time, my daughter will be back home. Side bitches always win, and as he talked to his other bitch on the phone, I didn't feel not an ounce of guilt for that hoe as I took her man's dick deep into my jaws. Uh, so are you packing up now? You on your way home? Uh, Dwayne, hello? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to be on my way. I'm, I'm leaving now. I'll see you in a minute. All right, baby. I love you. Damn, girl. Shit. I ain't even want this to happen with me and you. (laughs) But it happened. So now what?